So I'm starting this video a little different from most. As you see, I'm just going to do a voiceover because during this moment, I was trying to just get ready to just get ready, you know, and I was like, I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to put the camera on and see what happens. But then when I went back and I sped up the footage, I'm like, oh, this can make a cute video. Plus, I'm trying to get content out for y'all. Okay. Now, I know I probably sound weird. I'm in my bathroom actually doing my makeup right now. We are actually about to, I can't talk loud y'all because I don't want her to hear me. And now that I think about it, I don't even know if I should say this because she watches my vlogs. We're going to get a surprise for my daughter. So I'm getting my clothes on and my makeup on so that we can go do that. But I just wanted to talk to y'all really quick. Um, the holidays, <laughs> the holidays, the holidays were great in my house. The holidays were wonderful in my house. We, oh, somebody's knocking on the door. Yes. Sorry, y'all. That was Dylan being silly, wanting to come in. Um, but I, the holidays were great. It was peaceful in our house. We really didn't do much of anything. I mean, like we did stuff, but we did stuff as a family. We made steak and potatoes and veggies for dinner. And the kids had a pizza party because they love it. Like, duh, why not? You know, our life is different. It's, it's not forced. We just kind of live, you know? My husband lets me be me, I let him be him, and that's just how we roll. And I realized that once we started doing that and stopped trying to, you know, fit this mold of what we thought marriage was, things just started working out better for us. You know, like we never really had healthy <laughs> visuals of marriage. I mean, being together for a long time yeah that's great but you know we both witnessed arguing and cheating and abuse and, and and a lot of stuff you know you witness a lot of stuff growing up me more so um than he did but he still experienced it with relatives and, and things like that so when you see all that it's easy to follow down that path that path of this is how life is supposed to be and everybody's going to struggle and everybody's going to argue and everybody, you know, all that. Okay. F all of that. Because when you have two people that are genuinely trying to make it work, like genuinely trying to make it work, it will work. It, it's very easy to say, I'm just going to walk away. I'm done. I'm going to walk away. I'm not happy in this season. I'm done. I'm over it. It's easy to do that. It's easy. It would be very easy for me to do that because, hey, <laughs> I, that, that's what I've seen. I refuse. I refuse because not because I'm stubborn and I'm just going to take any kind of abuse or anything like that from my husband or he's just making me stay at home and take care of the kids or not, none of that with the narrative that is being painted. You know what I'm saying? That I just stay home and take care of the kids, you know? No, I genuinely love marriage and love what I'm doing and love my husband because and I want to fight for it because I made a covenant with him and with God. And with that being said, so did he. So when you have somebody who is meeting you halfway and actually wants to fight for it with you, why would you walk away from it? I get it. Everybody doesn't have that circumstance. Some people say, you know, it was just me fighting. It was just me praying. I get it. I will never, ever, ever put my mouth on somebody's situation that I don't know about. For some reason, people feel like they like to put their mouth on mine, but that's okay because what we're doing over here, it's already showing that it's, that this is working. It's working. I'm not saying my husband and I don't have arguments. I'm not saying we don't have disagreements, but what we have learned through it all, if we just continue to do the work and work in ourselves and work together, it will work. So many people say, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't. But, but can you, but like, did you really try? Did you and this person really try? Did you really give it your all? 
I don't know. I guess I, that that was my rant on marriage. I don't, like I said, I don't know where this vlog was going, but that was my that was just on my heart. I just want to talk about marriage. Anyways, on another note, like I said, I'm getting ready right now. We're going to go do a special surprise. I know I just ended abruptly, y'all. That is just ADHD for you. That's how my life works. I am talking to you right now in my bathroom as I stand up here looking through my Walmart beauty box, trying to be silent as I take my makeup out so the camera doesn't pick up all the excess noise. And <laughs> that's just what I'm doing because I really love what I do. I truly love what I do. And some people out there like me, apparently you like me if you're sitting there listening to this right now in my bathroom. I'm sure it's echoey. I'm sure the audio is horrible, but you're here. And so I appreciate you. And with that being said, like y'all, the appreciation level lately has been on a thousand, or, excuse me, on a million because I have hit two different videos, a million views on both of them. And it's been like crazy. It has been ultimately crazy. And I am like mind blown. Now I will tell you with that, with that, you know, you get your trolls. <laughs> My homegirl Melanie just says, I don't even see how y'all keep up with them. I do. I, I but I kill, I kill them with kindness because it's still engagement. I don't care if you call me whatever you come to. You better not come for my kids. But I don't care if you call me whatever you call me, whatever. I'm still going to engage with you. Somebody called me, said the other day how, you know, they'll tell you you're stupid. You're unfit. You're all this kind of stuff they tell you. You know, the trolls, they love to get behind that keyboard. They love to get behind that keyboard and just do their thing with their little magic fingers. That's cute. That's real cute. But they have told me that I was, my kids were mutts and we were going to hell for mixing races and I was dumb, I was stupid and this just all kinds of stuff. And I love to just say things like, I hope that make you feel better. I hope you enjoy your day and your scroll. Or, or are you having a bad day? Would you like to talk about, you know, I, I, <laughs> passive aggressive patty right here. I'm not going to lie to you, but hey, it keeps them talking for every bit of engagement. I'm getting engagement points on all these different platforms and I'm making money for all these comments and views and shares and all this. I you call me an idiot and share my posts. What it, it is what it is. I mean, like I said, I don't get too many of those, but as your videos progress and as they get better, you will get trolls. Okay. With that being said, as we switch gears once again, if you are a content creator, and you're watching my video and that's probably all the people that are watching my video maybe a few more because y'all are my friends and y'all support me and i appreciate y'all but if you are and you're just starting out remember things will get better you don't you know you your numbers will get better your your everything will get better okay do not go back and forth with these people in these comments do not okay because the one person you piss off they're going to report your video you're going to get it taken down and you're not going to make any money. Okay. So do not <laughs> go back and forth. You, they are watching you. Okay. And that's the same with brand deals. That's the same with everything. They want you. Don't you take that first offer on that brand deal, girl. You better act. Look, what is your budget? And my girl, Melanie, just being Melanie, she taught me that. What is your budget? I know you have a budget because if you don't hire me, you're going to go hire some Jim, Bob or Joe on the street and you're going to pay them even more. So what is your budget? Look at my views, send them your analytics, speak directly to their PR and you work out a compromise because like I said, they want you, you are valuable. You are very valuable. And don't you forget that. Don't you settle for anything. Now, yes, starting out, you might have to take some gifted collabs or you might have to take some, you know, a little bit lesser money. Like I know on that we sponsor when I first started out, I was making like, $20 per post or whatever. Now I make a lot more than that, but that's just because I build up my repertoire. Like I have turned in everything on time. I give quality content. So as you go, as you build, your name will go out there. People will send your information on to other people and make sure that you are on LinkedIn too, because I get a lot of views on my LinkedIn to um, let me let other people know that I am an influencer because a lot of people are hiring now guys they're on uh, Fiverr and other things they're hiring like influencers my friend bless her soul she's just amazing because shout out to you Andrea she just messaged me today and was like someone was looking for influence to follow like who are the influencers to watch and she gave them my name so she said she's going to look at my account as one of the influencers to watch and that's something ain't that dope 
Like me, Brittany Ryan? Yeah, me, Brittany Ryan. And I'm about to start thinking that in 2024. Yeah, yes, me, why not? Me, I was saying, why not me? And this is an entirely different day now that I am talking to you. And I just went through and reviewed my footage. Well, my voiceover from the last couple of minutes that I've been talking to you. And like, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. So I pretty much liked everything. I think I like edited out one blooper, but other than that, I liked it. But anyways, like I was saying, why not me? Why can't wonderful things happen to me? They will, they are gonna happen. So in 2024, great things are happening, y'all. I have a book coming out. I have so many different business partners and affiliates that I'm working with. I have some wonderful ladies that I have met through social media who have just become my friends. Shout out to Just Big Melanie and Big Chick Reacts. Go follow them. They are so near and dear to my heart and have helped me so many times when I wanted to quit, like so many times. But I didn't quit and they didn't quit and they still haven't quit and we still going and we have accomplished a lot of things this year and if you want to know more jump in my inbox because I don't mind helping you I don't know everything we don't know everything but we help each other because that's what we can do because everybody can eat now eventually y'all I'm gonna start a course because I came and listen I am learning a lot and I am doing a lot of research so I can't just be getting all my knowledge for free no I'm just kidding no but for real I am gonna start a course and um, it probably will be like an ebook or something at first, but I, I feel like this is valuable information. If you want to know some more, if you want to know anything more about content creation and how I really like really, really got started, let me know. Go in the comments. Let me know what you want to know. And I'm going to help you out because we can all eat. It is 2024 in two days. Two more days, y'all. I don't even know where the year went. But I'm glad that one's gone. And I welcome what's about to come. I welcome everything new. If you're in my life on December 31st at 11.59 p.m., I'm so serious. We gravy for 2024. But other than that, for 2024, I can't, people please, I can't, I can't do all that anymore, y'all. You have to just... At some point, you have to breathe. You have to breathe for yourself. You have to breathe for your breathe for your immediate family. Just breathe for you, okay? With that being said, I'm about to breathe. I'm about to go because I'm at this point, I'm brushing my hair and everything. And I'm like, oh, I think I hear the baby. And of course I did. So this is what it ended up looking like. <laughs>